This is the Digital Music Trends coverage of South by Southwest 2014, a chat with Travis Laurendine on the South by Southwest Music Hackathon. DMT's coverage of South by Southwest is brought to you by Omniphone, the leading B2B cloud music provider powering global music services including Sony Music Unlimited, Guvera, Rara and Sirius XM. Find out more on Omniphone.com and by Music Graph, the world's first knowledge engine for music, available as a consumer app and as a graph API for developers. Check out MusicGraph.com or Developer.MusicGraph.com. So I'm here with uh, uh, Travis Laurendine uh, and we're at the Hackathon uh, at South by Southwest. So uh, an awesome day. So, uh, you know, how did this come together? So um, I've produced a couple music hackathons before for um, music festivals like Bonnaroo and Outside Lands. And South by Southwest has always been my dream. I actually tried to do this before two years ago and now I'm actually here doing it. And um, it was kind of fate, you know, the, the real story of how this actual event happened, how they got in touch with me to do it, is I won a White House Champion to Change Award for Civic Hacking for the National Hackathon. Awesome. I went to the White House, I met these people from San Francisco who won the San Francisco side of the award, and then there they invited me to Burning Man, and at Burning Man I met with the South by Southwest people and we had the realization that I was the guy who had previously brought the hackathon concept to them just way early, you know, before anybody even knew what a hackathon was. I was trying to do a hackathon at South by Southwest. That was two years ago. Yeah, yeah sure. And looking at uh, what's uh, been happening uh, today, w what is the trend, do you think, for uh, music hacks? Uh, I I've seen in the last few years uh, it changing from just being a pure software play to actually being a real life play. So. What you see here, I mean, we've got the living room connected via Uverse, right? Yeah. So that's one of the main place, places people listen to music historically. We've got the car connected via Chevy, right? Which is one of the other main places people listen to music, right? And then we've got jukeboxes connected via touch tunes, yeah. right? So South by Southwest already covers the live experience, right? And music hackathons, period, already covered the online experience. So what are we missing? Right. You know what I mean? We, we've covered all the bases. And this is the first time I think anyone's ever covered all of the bases of where people actually listen to music and getting it to, um, the, consumers to the customers, the, the last AT mile. Covers the covers the AT&T the covers the... the, uh, the <laughs> exactly, they cover the wireless. So the internet and mobile phones is already plugged in. Yeah. Right? But the living room... The car, the jukeboxes, that wasn't plugged in until now. And now this is all plugged in. Touchtunes unveiled their thing today. Uverse is unveiling their thing right now. Chevy just started, you know, actually opening up all their data. Now we have three different streamers with APIs that. Yeah make all this stuff possible. So. Sure. And I, I've seen a real diversity in, in the developer community as well here. Uh, there's a, a how, how many, probably over 40 developers, uh, I would say, at least. Uh, well, no, we, we actually got to like 100. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. And so, um, <laughs> yeah, so it was really impressive considering that uh, the other previous, you know, the other people who tried to do hackathons, that's how hot hackathons are, is that yeah. we had two legitimate artists do their own artist hackathons against ours. Yeah. And we even invited them into ours, <laughs> especially Slash. We were like, we want y'all to be a part of our thing. And they were yeah. like, no, we want it to be just about Slash, and we want this. And we're like... Yeah, that was kind of a shame. I was like, come on, guys. <laughs> it, it was, was so really cool. a shame. It was like, just merge, like, just merge it all into one yeah, big thing. That's big what we wanted yeah, to do. Yeah, but yeah, sure. Oh, you know how it is. You know, artists. It's, <laughs> it's, well, it's artists. It's brands. It's yeah. like, hey, we've got our team. We want to show what we can do yeah. going on. Leading into it, they were probably like, Psst, we've got Slash. Yeah. Everybody's going to show up. And exactly. instead, people were like, no, we're here at South by Southwest. Yeah. And so uh, looking at, the, I was talking about the diversity of the hackers as well. There's people that are local here to Texas. We've got, we've got local Texas got people. We've got people from around the world. Yeah, we've got people who work at the best companies in music tech. Yeah. We, we have like some of the legitimate best music hackers. I mean, Paul Lemire, who's here from Echo Nest, <laughs> he's one of the best. He, yeah. If they had to say who's the top three music hackers in the world it might be him sean fanning and you know <laughs> i'm not sure I, I, the, I, I, the dude I'm who cracked the uh, pandora code i don't know uh, the first music hack day in 2009 so i've known it for a while okay yeah there you go <laughs> exactly so yeah paul is uh the godfather of music hack day yeah and absolutely. we're we're lucky to have him that's great and, and so we all, you know and we also have um 
We have Alex Don here, who yeah. produ has produced some of the biggest hackathons in history, That's if not if not the biggest. I mean, the dude, he's actually a. I'm not a full time hackathon producer. I produce yeah. some hackathons for entertainment related events most sure. mostly that's my thing because my background is in the entertainment business as a producer and promoter <clears throat> so it, le it lends it well for me to to do these kind of things yeah but i mean alex is out there doing this every weekend i think he does 45 weekends a year or something wow. like that that's dedication and it's like it's it, tough because you know it's, it's an all-night event so and, you know. <laughs> and you have to make them all different that's yeah. the thing is because once they once they become stale you don't no one wants to go anymore yeah no one wants to watch the same movie twice right unless yeah. it's a really really good movie right exactly and so uh, well, there's, there's loads of sponsors today as well so there are lots of interesting companies apis to play with super so i mean it's insane we were we were blessed this the the sponsors bought into the vision and they helped us make this happen, you yeah. know, and I, you know, I'm, I'm not like the king of music technology by any means, but somehow we got, you know, we were able to talk these people into buying into our vision, which is that the, the, the change that's going to come in music technology is going to come from the developers, the designers, and the artists, not necessarily these big businesses. Yeah. Yeah, sure, and uh, and we've seen that time and time again, and, and that's also why we've seen big companies like uh, Daisy, uh, like uh, Daisy. I'm still calling it Daisy Beats Music and, yeah, be, yeah, and exactly. Spotify, and exactly. Spotify opening up their APIs. You know, they, they want right. developers to uh, to integrate as much as possible and create right. new products that right. are really cool. So, uh, you know, uh, finally, I wanted to ask you about sort of uh, uh, you know uh, the prizes and uh, how it's going to work. You know, you got some great prizes for so the we have we have AT and T grand prize ten thousand dollars. Wow. Um, high for a music we hack have <laughs> it's it's pretty high. It's, yeah. it's a number. Um, it's ten times as much as what the other hackathons were offering. Yeah. And <laughs> and but that's what happens when you have the the cloud of AT and T. And we're we're very very happy that they bought in and and did it. And so you know now we have um, the opportunity to expand on it. And someone can take that money, put it in a company, and who knows maybe next year at South by. They're not here at the hackathon. They're in the accelerator, yeah. Or they're on stage talking about their thing because it caught fire. And that's what I'm looking for, you know. And I actually, you know, go in and, and work with some of the teams and like help them on their idea stages because that's kind of one of my specialties. And just the little the, from the, the teams that I got to, to help, they're companies. Yeah, they're that's companies, awesome. you know. And it's just they need the the right things and. You know, really, what is like a startup? A startup is like a non-stop hackathon. Yeah, right. Of course. And <laughs> if you can, if a company that's you know forged in the the cauldron of a hackathon environment and and wins and stays together, is actually probably more likely to stay together than people who were pulled from a post online or you know a, a friend who you're working with. Yeah. Right. Instead, it's like it's a meritocracy inside of a hackathon. It's like, no, we know what you can do and what we can do, and we can complement each other, and that's why we won this thing. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, what can people find? You know, I'm gonna throw the links in the show notes, of course. The, the presentation is happening in about 20 minutes, so you, I'm sure you have to run. And uh, the, the the prize ceremony is gonna be tomorrow, so I'm gonna cover that as well, of course. Uh, uh, but where can people find find you as well if they want to to uh, connect? You can find me, um, Travis Laurentine. Just just Google me. You'll find 20,000 search results yeah, about an app that I made last week called Airbnb. Oh, cool. Awesome. <laughs> which is Airbnb for bathrooms. <laughs> nice. And um, <laughs> you'll, but um, travis.laurendine at gmail.com if people need right. to reach out and get in touch with me. And, you know, I'm going to keep, I'm going to be at all these things in the future. So Perfect. you'll find me at Jazz Fest in New Orleans. You'll find me at Bonnaroo. You know, you'll find me at Outside Lands. You'll find me back at Burning Man again. Perfect. I'll be at, uh, at these things, keep me doing this, and I'm trying to like create like a, like a hacker circuit of sorts, yep. like the music hacker circuit, where you know my long-term vision is that we have a sponsor that buys in enough that we have a tour, and yeah. there's just like skateboarders, you know, are sponsored to go out and skate places. Yeah, we want to have hackers that are sponsored to go out and hack places, and they're in this semi-professional sponsor affiliation situation. Cool. Awesome. And that, I think that'll be a lot of fun. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, well, thanks so much for your time. I look forward to seeing the hacks. Uh, and uh, I'll let you go. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, and and I, we're also going to put them on South by South, South 
by southwest.com. Let me try this again. It's very hard to say. You know, I, I put a subdomain on my site called yeah. southwestsouthwest.digitalmusictrends.com and it's, I can't say it. Exactly. It's, it's really, really tough. But we're going to put them on sxsw.com slash music slash hackathon. We're going to put all the hacks up there. Oh, perfect. That's after, great. after the fact, where like the registration pages, we're going to remove that and we're going to put the hacks there. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. And thank you. And thanks for listening to the coverage of DMT at South by Southwest on digitalmusictrends.com. Thank you.